Good morning, everybody. It's the Savage Stacker. So let's talk a little bit about gold, silver, and stacking in 2022. We'll get right back to it. All right. So I have said multiple times on my channel lately that I'm going to be focusing more on gold than I am on silver for 2022. And I don't plan on um, changing that uh at all and um there's a few reasons for it and um the, the first reason is that i went really hard on silver last year and uh spent a lot of money on you know high premium high price silver and yes i want to cost average out my stack for the year and buy more but at the same time my buying is probably going to be around 30 70 70 30 70 percent in the gold 30 percent more on the silver and uh that's just because i'm going to need to cost out a little cost average out a little bit of my silver that i made or that i purchased last year and uh and i want to continue to stack gold um and then you know that's just for me that's i'm not telling anybody else that that's what they should do uh if i didn't go as hard on silver last year as i did I would probably just be stacking a lot more silver this year because the price is much lower than it was last year. And uh, I don't know if I'd call it FOMO. I would just say that I was just in a buying mode. I was I was just focused and uh, focused in on, on whatever I could get at the moment, whether it be gold, silver. And if I walked into an LCS and he had four or five silver, you know, 10 ounce bars there, um like this sucker i mean i had to get that it was all well toned up gorgeous bar that toning is just awesome you know i had to go in there and i had to buy it you know um and every time i put up metals i think of it as i put up in my savings account that's how i look at it if i don't buy that month like i'm worried that i have just burned myself on on putting five or a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks into my savings account and so i try to make sure that i buy every paycheck now, you know every two weeks i try to put five hundred or a thousand dollars into it and i know that's aggressive and i know that everybody can't do that and i can't always do that myself like right now i'm on unemployment for a couple months or until uh, the job dries out and we get back to work um so things are a little rough right now you know i have a little bit of money uh cash savings but my 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 buying right now is is pretty much at a halt um i have a little bit saved up for a new coin that's supposed to come out that they haven't even announced yet and when they do i might go all in on it and it's silver um or I may not, might not. And the, the, the reason for going all in on it is because uh, to flip. And the, I'm, I'm not a good flipper. I always buy stuff to flip and then I never flip, you know. And so um, maybe while I'm off on unemployment, maybe I should start doing that, you know. Maybe just do a couple auctions. Maybe, you know, do some stuff on eBay. Try to flip some stuff. And... Um, you know, that might be a good thing for me to start getting my feet wet in that while I'm off. Um, instead of just, you know, just hanging out or fishing all the time, you know. So maybe I should try that little bit of a hobby. Um, but I have some money set aside for that. But I also have like a, you know, a challenge with, uh, you know, Spectacular to get some gold each month. And then I also got, uh, you know, some of my own goals for the year that I want to continue on doing and so it's going to be kind of hard to fulfill all those rules with you know a, on a unemployment paycheck right now which um which is like literally five percent or ten percent of what I normally make per month um so it's going to be really rough and uh but at the same time, I work a lot of hours. I work really hard during the uh, summer and spring uh, fighting fires and stuff. So it's nice to take a little break, even though I'm not pulling in very much money. Um, it's still nice to take a little break. I just need to have another avenue of an income because it's not good to have all your eggs in one basket. So maybe I should 
you know, start trying my hand at the flipping or selling some stuff on eBay or something. And uh, that, that will probably help scratch that itch. And uh, so might be a good thing. Um, might find part of the business that I'm, I'm just, I don't really know too much about yet. So, but as far as 2022, there is going to be some stuff that I am going to stay away from completely. And that is definitely the American Silver Eagles. Um, they're just, for one, the new design is just, to me, hideous. I like some people are like, eh, I can take it or leave it. Me, I flip and hate it. It literally like just makes me sick to my stomach. I cannot handle that reverse. It, it's just compared to this. I mean, look at that. That just looks American for one. It just looks like an American coin. It has, it just looks like it has value. It just looks substantial. This new wave stuff that they're putting on some of their stuff is just is hideous to me like that just i don't know there's no stars there's there's just all this history taken out of the out of the coin and uh i i just don't like it i wish they would change it hopefully they do because i don't i don't want to spend 30 years of looking at that coin it, it's just it's horrible but look at the kookaburra. Look what they did with their writing on that. Now that's cool. Definitely, definitely uh, stepped up their game with the kooks. Um, you know, take or leave the queen. Um, but look at that. The writing on that kookaburra, that is, is really cool. And I think that that's, you know, if you're going to do something new, you might as well try to make it look much cooler, you know. Because whatever the U.S. men did, man, I... That, that's just horrible. That is horrendous. Now I don't, I don't mind the uh, I don't remind the, the reverse on the gold. That actually looks I like the one on the gold. I think it looks actually better than the old reverse, um, but not on the silver. So I'm going to be staying away from most government minted bullion. Um, there are a couple things that I always got to buy one of. Like I always got to buy one kookaburra for the year. Um, you know. Uh, this is a 2022, so I've already bought the uh, Kookaburra for this year. And uh, there's a couple things that uh, I, I will get along the way through the year. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be buying anything else from the U.S. Mint. I bought a lot of stuff from the U.S. Mint this last year, and I'm not going to buy any more from them. I'm just not going to do it uh, at all. And uh, then I'm probably going to be staying away from... Uh, most, most stuff like this, you know, I had to get the Sonics last year cause I was a, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog King back in my day. I love that game. Um, and Super Mario Bros. Like I, I play all these fancy games out there and I just play Super Mario Bros. Whenever I ever, if I, when I do play video games, I just play Super Mario Bros. Um, but that and Sonic were cool, you know, uh. Other things I'm going to stay away from, like I bought a bunch of these last year, and uh, these were these did have a little bit of a premium on them, um, not horribly bad, but still there was you know uh, basically I'm going to stay away from anything that's not cheap, and I'm I, what I'm going to focus mainly on is my 10 ounce bars, of course, um, and 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 some more constitutional. I have. In January here, I 2022, I have picked up two tubes of 1964 BU quarters, and um, I only bought those because they came in with this, and this whole roll is all airs of some sorts. I uh, got a double die out of it right here that is a really, really good double die, and I'll show that off to you all later. Um, but it's, it's literally right here. You won't be able to see it unless you guys zoomed in or something. Um, but I have a microscope. I'll show it off later. It's a really good example. Um, so constitutional for me, I'll probably buy some more 10 ounce bars. And uh, my, my main focus is going to be on gold. I'm going to be buying more gold. And um, 
I'm not going to be buying any more gold Libertads. That was a complete accident. Um, so anything high premium, I'm going to basically stay away from and I'm going to shop around. Um, I'm always going to go in my LCS and ask my normal question of, do you have any Inglehart bars? That's always the first thing I ask when I walk into three of my local coin shops and two of them already know. I walk in, they either grin or they go, nope, don't have any of those. They don't even got, I don't even got to ask no more because they know I'm going to ask right away. Or uh, Johnson Matthew, I always ask them for Johnson Matthew stuff. Or any weird vintage poured bars in general. If they see anything weird or toned up or, you know, dinged up, like, you know, this stuff, then uh, they know to contact me. Um, which they have a few other people that do the same. But I will be definitely keeping my eye out for vintage stuff and um, more 10 ounce bars. But like I said, 20 to 30 percent of my stack this year is going to go to silver the other 70 percent is going to be going into gold which is not as fun it's a little more boring um you know uh you know you can't go buy a you know a 10 ounce gold Inglehard bar because they just they exist but boy are they expensive um my goal in life Besides being a good father, is to one day own a pressed 10 ounce gold Johnson Matthew bar. That is one of my goals in life, and uh, I'm gonna get that sucker one day. And uh, but I won't be focusing on that this year. Of course, I'll be going after boring old gold and trying to buy it at an alarming rate. Uh, the way the inflation is going and uh the lies to the public and um uh, just you know it things are not looking too good for our economy and uh, i think stacking in general is not a bad thing i think it's very important to do on top of your other preps you know food um you know hygiene medical supplies and uh and some metals, you know, of course, and people like to buy ammo, um, stack up on that. And uh, I like to get water filtration systems and things like that. So while I'm also doing that kind of stuff, you know, this is the other part of my preps is having gold and silver because our economy doesn't look great. And this, I believe in my heart that it is going to save my family's behind in the long run all right thank you all for coming by why do you stack you do it for prepping do you do it for savings account hedge against inflation uh um are you one of the people that that bought it because of the silver short squeeze and you thought you were going to get rich you know if you are tell me how that went for you like i'm really not trying to make fun of anybody i, I really want to know like how that went you know um what was your perspective um, and what were you trying to get out of it? And uh, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm always trying to gather information and in uh, and the feel of the community. And um, so let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm going to be staying away from government to bullion and the ice cream cone stuff this year and focusing on gold first and foremost, then probably constitutional and then if I find some nice 10 ounce bars or vintage, I will get those. Thank you all for coming by. It is a Savage Stacker. Please hit the bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. The Savage Stacker is over and out.